Juniper has clearly defined and sort of decoded SDN. Can you talk to me a little bit about the fourth step, which is around optimizing network hardware? The fourth step around optimizing hardware really is around understanding how the networking platforms, this is the hardware and the local software, if you will, the local control plane, fits in an SDN context. So take, for example, the data center. In the data center, one of the most promising use cases for SDN is to use an overlay architecture to introduce virtualization in the network uh, to meet with the virtualization that has already happened in the server side of things. Now, if you have two completely separate networking layers, an overlay and underlay, that don't talk to each other whatsoever, I think this is going to uh, create some problems. So while you solve the problem of network virtualization, you introduce this problem of complexity uh, and an inability to go into diagnose issues that might occur in the network. Now having some touch points, controllability and visibility between the two layers actually now enables you to do correlation between layers and to quickly diagnose and pinpoint issues that might occur in the network so you can uh, fix them uh, quickly. On the topic of optimizing network infrastructure, what other role do you think network infrastructure can play in a virtualized data center? We very much believe at Juniper that reducing the total number of elements, the number of layers in the network that one needs to manage results in lower complexity, uh, and ease of management, and therefore lower operating expenses. And lower uh, latency too, right? Absolutely. Um, other examples would be just the programmability that the network infrastructure can support for the purpose of just keeping up with the evolution of data plane protocols that you know happens uh, as a natural life cycle of uh, these uh, network deployments. Uh, and then the last thing I'd just sort of give you an example for is the gateway functions. Any data center, just as an example, is going to have both a virtual and a physical component. And you need to have gateways that you know, provide the connectivity between the two. And we believe that the, you know, these gateways, in order to achieve the performance level, but keeping the functionality that you need for the gateway function, it needs to happen in these programmable uh, networking infrastructure across all the layers of the networking infrastructure from mm -hmm. the silicon, the systems, and the software that sits on top of it that provides this visibility and programmability to implement these gateway functions. Um, in your view and Juniper's view, um, what is network programmability in the context of uh, SDN? I can give you a, sort of a, an example of what we've done on service provider side with our universal edge strategy where what we've done is we've provided the level of uh, programmability in our MX Universal Edge router that has given our customers uh, tremendous confidence that as their business requirements evolve over time that we can capture the new services that they need through the introduction of software uh, as opposed to the introduction of new hardware that is far more expensive for them. And I think really this applies to the SDN con uh, context, especially because of the fact that you've got all of this um, you know, rapidly changing uh, requirements in any domain, data center, edge, core, and so forth, and the peace of mind that that gives our customers um, is just uh, very powerful for us. So what should customers be thinking about as they make their investments in network infrastructure today? A few things. First is just network architecture. And, and here, I think this is all about path to flat. We believe at Juniper that the simplest networks are the flattest ones, the ones with the fewest number of elements to manage. Our customers want flexibility to enable new technologies in their existing networks. The other thing is just programmability to enable very fast, uh, rapid um, you know, diagnosis of issues that might occur in the network. One of our fundamental principles at Juniper that we want the SDN architecture that we develop uh, to apply very broadly across service provider and enterprise data, data centers, um, core networks, uh, edge networks, um, really there are a diversity of different applications that are very compelling. <laughs>